morning to one and all present over here um today's class we are going to see about optical communication myself v tamilarasan assistant professor working as a working in a ec department today's class we are going to see about introduction to optical communication before that we are going to see about what is communication and why we are going for communication and those things first what is communication so all of you know that communication is the process of exchanging information that is sending out one information from one place to another place it is called as a no? communication next the and the another way is defining sending and receiving a message from one place to another place is called as a no? communication so the communications involved basic four process first one information source second one transmitter third one communication channel fourth one is a receiver operation there are three types of communications are available first one is simplex second one is half duplex third one is full duplex simplex communication is a one way communication example radio systems uh, tv broadcasting systems second one is a half duplex communication it is a two way communication either one side will be transmit the signal and either one side will receive the signal it is called as an a half duplex system example police that is walkie talkie communication and then family radio so these things are the half duplex example of half duplex communication third one is a full duplex communication it is a two way communication um, that is sending a information from uh, one on place the same way receive the signal from a other side so both the communication will happen in a at, uh, same time so example normal telephone communication is called as a full duplex communication repeat one second first one is a simplex operation it is a one way communication exchanging the information either only one side not other side this called as a simplex communication example uh, tv broadcasting okay tv broadcasting second one is a half duplex communication it is two way communication so sending or receiving information either one side not for both the side uh, example walkie talkie communication third one is a full duplex communication it is a two way communication sending and receiving the information simultaneously in the both the side so types of communication there are three four types of communication available first one is analog communication so uh, in that uh, there are several types first one is a analog com, uh, amplitude modulation second one is a frequency modulation is available third one is a phase modulation so uh, does all of you know very well second digital communication so ask it is a amplitude shift keying fsk frequency shift keying um, psk free phase shift keying qpsk quadrature phase shift keying this also all of you know that very well third one is a microwave communication it is a high frequency communication uh, it is communication through radio um, microwave frequencies so it is microwave communication it is using high frequency band last one is a optical communication exchanging the information from one place to another place through the light signal it is called as an optical communication basic block diagram of a uh, communication system so there are four, four three blocks are available uh, first one is 
transmitter block second one is a channel third one is a receiver the information source the transmitter uh, the input of transmitter is a information source that is uh, which signal we are going to transmit that is the information that is the information signal so example um, our voice signal audio signal video signal computer data um, traffic signal like those signals uh, this signal is sent to transmitter through drive circuit the transmitter is transmit the re, transmit the information to a channel that is a transmit to free space the uh, it is called as a channel the channel will be a wired communicate wired system or wireless system or a fiber optic cable system or etc it is called as a channel and then last uh, la final box a receiver block the receiver is used to receive the signal from channel the receiver signal should be a information source it uh, mm, this is the basic block diagram of a communication system and then communication process normally mm, cha transmitter is a transmitter signal the channel is a uh, uh, channel is a uh, medium for community communicating the signals from transmitter to receiver so in the channel additionally add the noise signal also so in this noise signal either uh, noise signal will be added uh, through atmosphere or electronic device or any other para or any other parameter this noise signal will be added to the channel uh, added to the channel and through on on the signal so after that this noise also uh, send to receiver the receiver will receive both original signal and uh, noise signal in combined manner so the main task of receiver is receive the signal from channel and also uh, and also remove the noise signal so the major task for ma major design difficulty of receiver is these two process receive the signal and uh, remove the noise signal also so basic signals uh, analog signal so it is a continuously varying signal it is also one of you know that very well example sine wave voice signal video signal these are the analog signal it is continuously varying with respect to time it is called as analog signal digital signal uh, it is a change steps or discrete increments that is logic 1 or logic 0 so if it is high means logic one if it is low means logic zero this is the digital signal so it is also all of you know that very well uh, next is the main uh, the main module of the communication system is channel multiplexing and modulation so multiplexing it is also all of you know that very well it is uh, uh, multiplexing is the process of combining more than one signal in a one line it is called as a multiplexing modulation is the mm, uh, simply a boost up in the uh, lower signal uh, using carrier signal it is called as a modulation so modulation makes the information signal more compatible with the medium multiplexing uh, also are the more than one signal to be transmitted concurrently over a single medium that is more than one signal is sent to a single input single output line it is called as a you know, multiplexing so this is the basic block diagram of a uh, channel multiplexing and modulation system so multiplexing is a uh, multiplexing is a uh, combined many signals into a single line so based on the timing it will select the particular input line so and then pass through the modulator so the modulator is used to to boost boost up the weak signal 
uh, using carrier signal. So the carrier signal will be generated from the carrier oscillator. And then power amplifier is the so uh, amplify the uh, amplify the signal and then pass through the antenna. This is the basic process of channel multiplexing and modulation. So this is the frequency division multiplexing. Um, based on the frequency, the signal will uh, be multiplexing. It is called as a frequency division multiplexing. Time division multiplexing is a based on the time, the signal will be uh, detected. Uh, many multi modulation formats are also available. Non return to zero, return to zero. These are the basic communication process and communication parameter, unlike those. So, next is uh, why we are going for optical communication. What is the use we are going to see now? So, need of fiber optic communication. So the fiber optic communication is the high data rate, that is high speed of operation, which allow high capacity transmission quickly. Uh, that is transmitting the signal long distance, uh, transmitting the signals to long distance with high data rate, that is high speed. It is the major advantage of optical communication system. This also had the potential for a transmission over a long distance without need of amplify and retransmit along the way. So transmitting the signal with the long distance without amplify and retransmit and in, in between the process. It is also one of the benefit of optical communication system. Speed limit of electronic processing, limited bandwidth uh, of copper and coaxial cable. So very high bandwidth up to 30 terahertz, uh, low loss 0.25 dB per kilometer at 1550 nanometer fiber optic window. These are the needs. So major needs for uh, three things. One is high data rates, high distance communication this is two points and then without amplification and retransmitter in between uh, there uh, sp a bandwidth is up to terahertz these are all the main advantage of optical communication system this is the evaluation of light wave communication system that is optical communication developed from the year it is uh, evaluation. So starting in 1850, telegraph invented, and then around 1900, telephone were invented. Uh, after the year 19,000, uh, so after 1900, the coaxial cable is uh, came out. After nine. Uh, 1950 the microwave communication will be developed uh, and also light wave communications are developed in the um, in the around after 1950 the optical communications are developed this is the chart for frequency and wavelength graph so uh, in the upper line frequency values are noted the lower line uh, wavelength are noted we are no, uh, noted. Uh, uh, twisted pair cable and coaxial cable are the optical fiber cable. The range frequency range is 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power of 8 is twisted uh, cable pair. Um, and the same way coaxial cable are used uh, 10 to the power of 3 to 10 to the power of 9. AM radio will be used 10 to the power of 5 to 7. FM radio is used to 10 to the power of 6 to 10 to the power of 9. These are the optical communication. This is infrared communication will be used 10 to the power of 12 to 10 to the power of 14. Visible light communication of 10 to the power of 14 to 15. Optical fiber are used 10 to the power of 14 to 10 to the power of 15 in the range of frequency. It is the major advantage. It is the high speed for uh, while using optical communication. 
so is the basic optical communication the yeah, this is the signal so this is the optical optical signal in terms of sine wave format this is the amplitude this is the wavelength this is the position slash distance this electromagnetic wave carry energy from one point to another travel in a straight line described in a wavelength speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power of 80 this is the basic things for light signal this is the basic block diagram of a optical fiber optic communication system this is the overall block diagram of the optical fiber communication system major elements source of information transmitter optical source optical fiber cable as a transmission medium uh, photo detector electrical stage designation uh, this is the transmitter section up to this these two blocks are transmitter section this is the channel up to optical source to this block and then this is the last three modules are the receiver section this is the basic block diagram of optical communication this is the overall block diagram of a fiber optic transmission link the first so the transmitter section transmitter section consists of two modules drive circuit light next one is a light that is a uh, light source so drives drives module drive block is so drive the electrical signal to source that is light source uh, this is the major process of the drive circuit drive circuit is used to drive the electrical signal to source block that is light source block a uh, light source may be used as le uh, either use used as a led or laser these two uh, sources will be used depending upon the application depending upon the design depending upon your requirements led is a light emitting diode uh, uh, laser is a light amplification stimulated emission system uh, stimulated emission radiation this is the expansion for led and laser so these two devices will be used for the generating light signal uh, and this block will generate the light signal and pass through the fiber optic cable through fiber connector this is the major operation of the transmitter section in the electrical signal normally we are transmitting our voice signal that is a non electrical quantity signal this non electrical quantity signal is converted into electrical quantity first point uh, using tran uh, transducer the transducer is used to convert the non electrical quantity to electrical quantity and then this electrical signal is uh, sent to drive circuit the drive circuit will drive the uh, electrical signal to light um, light source section the light source signal will be a led or a laser the user the led or laser is a generate the light signal based on the electrical signal and then pass through the fiber optic cable using fiber optic connector this is the optical fiber cable so this is the channel and also this is the optical coupler so sometimes we need uh, uh, splitting the signal from Uh, two points uh, from one point to two points so we are using optical coupler then this is the regenerator block this is the main block of optical communication system uh, if the signal will transmit a uh, long distance uh, the energy will be losing so that again boosting the signal uh, uh, we need to boost the signal so that we are using regenerator in the in between the channel so uh, regenerator consist of a optical module electronics module and then optical module this optical module will be receive the optical signal and then pass through the electronic circuit in this electronic circuit just uh, boost up in this signal that is increasing the amplitude of the signal and pass through the optical block this optical block is that is simply uh, used as a 
light source signal that is the light light source device led or laser to reduce or to generate the light signal and pass through the again channel so these uh, this regenerator will be receiving the optical signal and converted to electrical and boost up in the uh, electrical signal and then again converted to light signal this is the process of regenerator then pass through the optical cable finally uh, optical uh, optical uh, fi finally receiver section receive the optical signal from the cable so from the cable wait from the cable the cable uh, having a uh, light signal and also the light signal is mixed with the channel noise okay uh, in uh, in that place the uh, in that place light signal that is original our data plus original our data in the form of light plus uh, channel noise the photo on uh, this block photo director block this uh, photo director may be uh, will be used as the pin for either pin photo diode or avalanche photo diode may be used depending upon the cost constraint depending upon the application and also your design your requirement based on the uh, choice we are choosing either pin photo diode or avalanche photo diode this diode will convert light signal to electrical signal in that electrical signal uh, send to amplifier block in that amplifier block having a amplifier and the low pass filter signal so the am, uh, low pass filter is used to remove the noise signal and then amplifier is a, so increase the strength of the signal last is the signal block signal restorer this uh, in the circuit having a addition circuit so addition circuit um, uh decision sir you did is a decide on uh, the whether the decision sir you decision sir you will be either that is decision sir you will be designed the level of the output if it has reached the above level so set this uh, send this signal if it below means send this like a uh, signal so uh, this is the decision sir you this is the uh, and then pass through the uh, required designation of the receiver this is the overall communication of the bla um, optical fiber optic communication system there are three blocks transmitter regenerator receiver transmitter uh, transmit the light uh, transmit the light signal from the electrical signal using led led or laser the regenerator signal block is used to regenerate that is receive the optical signal and then converted to electrical so the electrical signal is boost uh, increasing the strength and then again converted into optical signal this is the process of regenerator receiver section receive the light signal from the channel and uh, detect electrical signal using pin or avalanche photo diode and then amplify filter the channel noise and then send it to decision circuit so finally it will reach the use for designation receiver designation this is the overall block diagram of the optical communication system so this is the overall block diagram of optical transmitter consists of light source external modulator attenuation this is the overall circuit diagram of the optical transmitter this is the receiver section block diagram it is already explained the advantage of optical fiber communication system is a increased bandwidth channel uh, increased bandwidth and uh, channel capacity so low signal attenuation immune to noise no cross talk that is cross talk means uh, so we are using different uh, wavelength range so that uh, not possible to interfere with the adjacent channel so that is a no cross talk will be occur lower uh, lower bit error rates and then signal security because using wavelength so that signal will be uh, signal will not be hacked any other person so the signal security will be high 
uh, electrical isolation is there reduced size and reduce uh, weight uh, weight cables radiation and re uh, resistance and the environment friendly resistant to temperature variation these are all the advantages of the optical communication system major advantage is a high speed high bandwidth and then uh, low signal attenuation no cross talk signal security these are the main five advantages of the optical communication system and also use long distance communication the speed uh, up to terabytes disadvantage of optical fiber communication system uh, skills needed specialized skills needed cost of install one time cost installation is high cost of retransmission equipment from electrical to optical signal is high optical fiber cannot carry electrical power these are all the four disadvantage of the optical communication system apply next the applications of the optical higher communication system some optical fiber very flexible they are used in the flexible digital cameras fibers used in the mechanical imaging that is uh, inspection of mechanical wells welding uh, wells in pipes engines rockets space shuttles and aeroplanes fibers used in the medical imaging that is medical equipment uh, such as endoscope laparoscopic systems cable used in the sea communication that is uh, uh, underground communication in uh, in river uh, fibers are used in a military application such as aircraft ships tanks and etc uh, nuclear testing applications optical fiber phase sensor and transducers optical fibers used in a public uh, utility organization like railways tv transmission and etc fibers are used in a land system of office industrial plants and college uh, colleges etc um, the fiber optic uh, is used for telecommunication such as voice telephone video phones telegraph service messaging service and data networks these are all the applications of the optical communication system so any queries regarding uh, introduction to optical fiber communication system this is the main this is the main uh, advantage of our fiber optic communication system so mainly high speed with long distance communication increased bandwidth and then uh, no cross talk signal security these are all the main advantage and also reduce in size uh, reduced weight of the cables these are all the main advantage thank you for today's class so next class we will see about uh, introduction to optical fiber modes and configuration fiber types and fiber cables thank you thank you for listening the class thank you to all